Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this really cool drop down feature inside of uh, Google Sheets and Microsoft Excel. So let's go. All right, I love this feature because it's really pretty simple, but it looks awesome and it's really useful. I use it all the time. Uh, like in this example, I'd use this on my blog. I put a drop down here of all the different types of lead magnets. So I've got this huge list that I can choose from. It's just really cool. It's it's going to impress your boss if you have a boss. It's going to uh, impress your employees. So uh, this is how you do it. It's very simple. So let's just name this drop down example. And I'll share this uh, in the description so you guys can open this up. And if you want to edit it, just come over here to file and then come down to make a copy. And then you'll be able to, uh, to edit it and you can just see exactly how I did it. Um, but what we're going to do is let's start here by making a list of data. Let's say uh, apples, pears, peaches, plums, and grapes. All right, so there's the list. And what we're going to do now is let's find the cell that we want to put it in. So usually when I create a drop down list, I put it in its own uh, sheet. So you've got a workbook, which is all of this. And then you've got sheets, which are these uh, different tabs down here. So let's call this one. Uh, data. You don't have to do this, but this is just something that I like to do. Um, I'll call that data. So that's going to be where all the data is. And on sheet one, we'll call this drop down just for this example. And let's say that we want to put the drop down right here in cell B2. So what we do in Google Sheets, and I highly recommend that you use Google Sheets as often as you can, as opposed to Excel, uh, just because it's, it's, it's so much better. And unless you need to do like complex stuff, uh, it sheets is great. So what we're going to do though, is we're going to come here to data and then we want to come to data validation. Click on that. Now you're going to see this pop up and we've got all these different options, but we want to just do list from range. This is the simplest way to do it. Uh, you can do it in other ways. Honestly, I just definitely recommend that you do list from range if possible. So click on that and we're going to select the range. And now to do that, we just click back on the data and we're going to copy that, click on that first one and then drag to select all of them and then press enter and then save. Now let's go back to that cell and here we go. We've got that drop down. and you can do a lot with this. If you want, you can make it just grab this corner right here, drag it down and you now have that all across. If you want, you can change the data. You can turn this to uh, changed, right? And now if you come into your dropdown, there it is, changed. If you want to expand that list, you're going to have to change things up. You'll have to go back into data, data validation. And then let's say that you want to add another uh, field. So you would just make it so that it goes down, uh, down here to B7. And then like that, and then you have this blank one and you can put new, All right? And then let's check that, change, new, drag that down. Pretty cool. Yeah, so that is an awesome little feature uh, that you can use and it'll quickly uh, make your spreadsheets look cooler and make you look like you know more than you really do. It's very simple. Just again, go to data validation and add it into your page. Hopefully that, that helps. Peace. Be sure to subscribe.